Hi, my name is Cornina. I'm from the Philippines and this is the Travel Docs. Alright guys, made it to the airport and now heading to Langkawi. Uh, just searching for my check-in now, but this is crazy. I want to do this for the first time. Only like thought about this last week and I booked my ticket on Monday and now, yeah, it's gonna be a spontaneous trip. Nothing's planned so far. So here we go again. Same scene, different day. Fantastic, I got my boarding pass and now I'm heading to go through the gates and with my flight to Langkawi. Same shot, different scene. So I made it to Singapore and I got a seven hour layover until I leave on the next flight. Yeah, so I made it to my seven hour layover and tried my best to rest up. But also on this trip, I went real basic. One pair of shorts, second pair of shorts, three pair of shorts, and the one I'm wearing. Three pairs of jocks, one hat, and about one, two, three, four shirts. And I got a toothbrush, passport, lip balm, that's basically it. And my laptop as well. And my camera. I'm so lucky how like, I'm not obsessed with the curious trouble. And also, I did my best to sleep. But yeah, sleeping in places like this really makes you appreciate having a bed. So off I went to my last leg. Made it to Langkawi from, uh, from Singapore and yeah. Arriving in Langkawi, I settled in to my hostel. I room for tonight, so we got a fan here, another fan here, fan here, fan here, another fan there, and one more fan there. And as you can tell, it's still fucking hot here. So, I just met a couple of guys at the hostel already, but I just came and about to just rent bikes. So we rented our bikes, and we decided to drive to a waterfall. And off I went, kickstarting my trip with a bang. So this is the waterfall that we've just made it to. Anyways, we reached the waterfall and just basically hung out there because that's what all backpackers really do. Waterfall by day and get pissed by night. And yeah, that's what we did. We got pissed by now. A few drinks at the hostel turned into drunken street karaoke and drunk scootering an hour later. It's funny because I only met these guys five minutes once arriving at the hostel at midday. And yet, we were already pissed. All pissed by midnight. Waking up the next day, I got some breakfast and tried to cure the headache that I had. Actually, that was my first night and it seems like it's, it's been for ages because it was just a long day. But I've got a tour today. I met Adrian. He was going to take me around to see the villages as advertised on his tour. But it wasn't so much the case. Let me explain. I wanted to see a local's life and the tour specifically said to immerse in a local's life and he even said it himself Today we are doing the three good places like villages place for nature so, yeah. But all we did was take pit stops and he drove me around paddy fields where I had to go out and do stuff by myself and nothing was about immersing myself with a local Was I scammed? I'm 
know about to say it's an attempt to defame a company, but he advertised something. <laughs> so interesting, I guess. All right, guys, just trying this new thing. Let's just go through a bit of the comments. Can you do a video on how to get the most out of a trip when traveling alone? Yes, I can. I'll do one right now. So to get the most out of traveling alone is um, just be spontaneous. Like you can't really pre-plan anything, everything, because if you pre-plan everything, then your daily routine will be really structured and it wouldn't be that great. You'd be like, you'd, you'd just be a tourist. Um, to make the most out of it, it's just to go and talk to locals and it will lead into like very significant things that you, that you won't even realize. Um, so yeah, just talk to people and just do everything and just do, do it all, I guess. <laughs> uh, this is man, so many people miss out on the story aspect. Thank you very much. Nice waiting for your new episode. Yes, this is going to come out soon. Um, I think tonight, hopefully. Please drop in more videos, they're really inspirational. Thank you, man. I just got back from Europe, but again. Yo, you're back. Yes, I'm back. I'm indeed, I'm indeed back. Oh, excited to see the new footage. Thank you. This comeback is too awesome. Miss your storytelling. Thank you. I love your storytelling, dude. Good to see you back. When are you coming to India, bro? I am actually in India right now. Though I'm not going to Mumbai, I'm just doing the northern part of India. Um, but I'm planning to go back and do Mumbai, Goa, Kerala, all that uh, on the next trip when I'm doing Sri Lanka as well. So just pack it all in and just do the south and Sri Lanka. So that's the plan. Um, Malay, he's back. Yes, I'm back. Awesome. I love your story. Tender. I can't wait to see more of your upcoming travels. Thank you. We'll wait for your next video. It'll be epic for sure. Okay. Is Film Code dead? No, Film Code's not dead. Uh, I just put a halt into it. The thing is, um, it's the only income I have in order, to, in order to travel. So it's not dead. It's going pretty well, actually. So um, I'm using that money to just basically travel. And I'm still keeping it. Keep, uh, keeping on going with it um, but at the moment I'm just trying to pipe down and just concentrate on traveling because it's so much fun <laughs> I hope you like guys like that um, should I do that again maybe maybe not all right uh, but if you guys have any questions I'll be sure to answer them even if it's like this but just comment down below and I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow not tomorrow I'll see you guys in the next video see ya